So without further delay, I'm going to introduce our first speaker, Dr. Pre Professor Eric Pujol-Lorraine, to present our ovarian cancer study. Eric. Good afternoon. Thank you, Carol, uh, for the introduction. And uh, I'm very uh, delighted uh, to have the opportunity to tell you about uh, this new treatment option in patients with uh, ovarian cancer in whom chemotherapy is not no longer working well. And uh, I'm uh, Eric Pujad-Lorraine uh, from the Hotel Dieu Hospital in Paris, and uh, I'm the lead investigator for Oelia, which has uh, successfully shown that adding bevacizumab to chemotherapy in these uh, very difficult to treat patients uh, cuts uh, the, the, the risk of that disease getting worse by half. Well, just remind uh, ourselves uh, that uh, for an ovarian cancer tumor to grow, it needs a new blood supply to get nutrients and uh, oxygen. And the formation of this new blood vessel is dependent of growth factor, and particularly vascular endothelial uh, growth factor, always referred as VEGF. And uh, what does bevacizumab? Be bevacizumab binds to VEGF, and by blocking its action, it prevents the formation of new blood vessels, and then prevents uh, the tumor growth. Well. That's the theory. Well, in ovarian uh, cancer, what, do, what uh, do we know from clinical trials for the activity of bevacizumab in ovarian cancer? Well, to make you understand better where we are today, we will follow together the course of the disease of a patient with ovarian cancer. At diagnosis, most uh, of these patients are at advanced stage. They will uh, typically receive surgery and uh, chemotherapy, and chemotherapy will contain platinum derivatives, such as carboplatin. And in this setting, bevacizumab has been shown to be active thanks to l two large uh, uh, trials. One out of four of these patients will be cured, but sadly, the others will relapse. And for them, the, the disease and treatment continues. Well, most initially, we'll again respond to a platinum combination therapy. They are called platinum sensitive. And in this setting, again, bevacizumab has been shown to be active thanks to a large trial called Oceans and run by Carl. But uh, not all the patients will respond all the time to chemotherapy, and uh, the, the disease will become uh, uh, resistant to chemotherapy. That is the case for 25% of the patients as soon as they experience their first relapse. And ultimately, almost all the patients with ovarian cancer in recurrence will develop uh, chemotherapy uh, resistance. And for these patients, before now, they haven't had uh, many option, treatment options uh, open to them. And uh, uh, they know that the end of their life was uh, approaching. But Aurelia is the first trial to demonstrate in these very difficult to treat patients efficacy of bevacizumab plus chemotherapy in this pl platinum-resistant disease. <clears throat> well, let's go to the uh, design of the trial. It's very straightforward. Patients with platinum-resistant disease were randomized between chemotherapy or chemotherapy plus bevacizumab, if you want to mo know more details on chemotherapy options or bevacizumab dose, go to uh, the press release. And the primary uh, endpoint was the l length of the time without progression of the disease, without uh, the, the, the disease get worse. And uh, well, now let's look to the results. Wow. Well, wh that's exactly what said the investigator when they saw this, uh, 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 this graph. 
the wider separation between the two curves uh, clearly indicates uh, that the adding bevacizumab to chemotherapy uh, is working very well. And uh, look at, at the hazard ratio, which uh, uh, indicates the comparison between the two curves during the whole, their whole length, 0.48. That means that the risk of the disease to get worse in the arm or, or in patients treated with uh, bevacizumab plus chemotherapy is half of the risk of the disease to get worse in patients treated with chemotherapy alone. Of course, you would like to know more about adverse events. These, uh, these were very consistent with those already uh, published uh, and uh, reported with bevacizumab. M blood uh, pressure should be monitored uh, and uh, proteinuria. The uh, bowel perforation rate was uh, very low, 2.2%. And you can see more detail in your, pre your press release. <clears throat> so where does it uh, leave us? Well, as Carol said, patients in whom uh, with ovarian cancer, cancer in whom uh, chemotherapy is no longer uh, working, uh, are a high unmet medical need. Well, the OLIA is a positive trial. It shows that uh, adding bevacizumab to chemotherapy halves the risk of disease getting worse in these uh, patients. And uh, bevacizumab plus chemotherapy should thus be considered as a new standard option in this patient with platinum-resistant disease. Well, you remind uh, this uh, uh, lady, well, this lady had uh, received previously uh, chemotherapy, and now chemotherapy is no longer working. She has a platinum uh, resistant disease uh, and before she had very few options. Now with uh, Aurelia, uh, the addition of bevacizumab plus chemotherapy give her a new treatment option, half the risk of recurrence and give her new hope. Thank you.